live stream time. Turn my headphones up. I bring that BG down more. here what's going on empire good to see you henry mel uh mel melanindez henry elamendindez let me tweet something real quick in my uh i'd like to welcome everybody to xrp after dark new pick hello there's a giant red arrow pointing at walmart and if you guys did not see my video right before this live stream this is one thing i said too guys and this is why i'm always blown away with bearable guys work this right here guys he pointed this picture out to us almost two years ago now almost two years ago and now today the deal has been sealed right here ripple takes 50 million stake in moneygram push to deploy X Rapid XRP. Party time. Party time. Oh man, uh, what up, Empire? Good to see you, my brother. Yeah, I gotta start being on time. That's for sure. That's that's a big thing. It's a lot of streaming going on right now out there. I actually believe it or not, everybody's going crazy because the market actually uh, XRP was pushing for a second. Let me see what I got right here. Ten, 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 ten. I'm not sure what XRP is doing right now, but a few minutes ago it was 46 cent pumping 8%. So let me just uh, go to the market really, really quick right here. What up, J Currency? I'd like to welcome everybody to XRP After Dark. You never know who's going to show. Whoa! Looks like Bitcoin's up to about four, uh, almost 9,400. Damn! Bitcoin Cash 433, Ethereum 274. Litecoin is down. I'm surprised to see Litecoin going down. And XRP is at 44 cent 36. Let me see what's going on here. I had we had XRP at 46 cents about an hour ago. I don't know what's going on with the market right now. What up, Peru Crypto? Thank you so much, my brother. I really appreciate that. What up, uh, Peru Empire J Currency? Hope all is well. Life's amazing, guys. We got a hell of a show planned. I did a video on this earlier. The second the news came out, I was like, whoa, no way. Huge news. Empire, uh, uh, MoneyGram, and Ripple sealed the deal right there. But one thing that really, really caught my attention, guys. One thing that really caught my attention. Hold on. One thing that really caught my attention is Jack the Rippler. I always follow Jack the Rippler on Twitter. He always posts, 60 Cent in Canada, stop playing, Empire. Get out of here. 60 Cent, why does Canada always show higher? That's kind of crazy. I'm not sure what's up with that. Now, Jack the Rippler just posted this. Now, tell me again that XRP is a security. Money, Graham. Rule number one, don't listen to the naysayers. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Western Union is ready to. I tweeted the video many times about WU, push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. Now, if you actually play this right here, guys, oh, man, I'm telling you, that right there got me really, really hyped. I even looked up the lyrics to the song because, I mean, it, guys, it goes straight to what's going on right now, that's for sure. As far as the MoneyGram deal, and I also tweeted... Uh, this video, if you guys didn't know, uh, Brad Garlinghouse was just on Bloomberg also. What up, Cash Only? What up, Peru? J Currency? I know I should have been on time tonight, but hell, what the hell? We still going to rock it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Live stream time. 
Oh, yeah, guys. And if you don't know, if you don't know, the big news of the day is I guess I can say, will the real bearable guy please stand up? Will the, <laughs> will the real bearable guy please stand up? Guys, from what I'm hearing on Twitter, the old bearable guy account has opened up. So, we will get more into this as the show unfolds, that's for sure. We'll give it a few minutes. We're going to give people time to get in. I already know I was 20 minutes late, so we're going to, we probably won't start filling up for about 10 minutes or so. I, I think starting tomorrow, guys, I'm really going to have a new game plan as far as my time. This is going to be my new game plan right here, guys. My new game plan is going to be, and I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try my hardest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to be, if the live stream starts at 7, and I know, guys, uh, this is going to be Mission Impossible, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to get in here at 6.50, 10 minutes prior to the live stream. So I'm going to do 10 minutes prior to the live stream, and then we can do the shout-outs, say what's up to everybody, and then we can start the live stream exactly at 7 o'clock. That's one thing i got to work on is my organization, and I actually am working on that. Matter of fact, guys, I even posted uh, a car that I've had for... A long, long time, guys. I posted my baby, this car that I've held on to, I guess since I was a young guy. It was like, you know, my uh, my young guy car. I just didn't want to get rid of the car. And uh, I don't drive it no more. You know, I drive a different car. I drive an Audi now. But uh, I didn't want to get rid of this car. But I'm like, what the hell? The car's been sitting there forever. I need to get my life organized. I need to, you know, get organized. So I said, I'm going to get rid of this car. And uh, actually, I posted it on Craigslist. And the one thing I noticed, guys, there was an option there to accept cryptocurrency. I said, no way. That would be amazing if I could sell the car for cryptocurrency. I'll keep you guys posted on that, that's for sure. Cat loves dogs. What's up, CKJ Money Graham? What up, cat? Two tacos. Jose Peru Crypto is here. XRP, the wave. Jeffrey Ford. What is going on? Like Jungle Inc. says, what is up, good people? <laughs> jungle link here that's my jungle impersonation that's for sure anyway guys we're gonna rock this one jack the ripple tweet now tell me again that xrp is not a security rule number one don't listen to the naysayers guys and that's the way twitter is uh it, it, anything on twitter guys and it's just like this article that just came out where is it at where is it at let me show you guys i'm gonna give you guys a quick example right here of people always, there it is, there it is. I see somebody retweeted my video already. Oh, Peru Crypto, thank you so much for supporting the channel, my brother. You are the man, Peru. I owe you like big time, bro. Guys, if you haven't seen this, Big BG, Brad Garlinghouse, MoneyGram, Facebook is venturing into crypto. But will it kill or fuel the competition? Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse talks all things crypto with Bloomberg TV. I guess this interview just came out a few minutes ago. But what's crazy is the second this interview started, she can't say, oh, congratulations, you know, you got a big partnership, MoneyGram. We're going to talk about that, guys. For everybody just tuning in, we got the MoneyGram situation. We got a new picture from Bearable Guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, a new picture from Bearable Guy. <laughs> oh, lordy. G-Man. Oh, this is an amazing video, guys. What up, G-Man? Good to see you, bro. What up, Mark? Uh, what sucks, you know what's crazy? Like, as soon as this video starts, the first thing the lady says is, uh, she asks him about, she asks him about the Western Union deal. She was like, well, Western Union says that you guys didn't save them money. Well, hold up. Hold up. Like, who the hell paid you to say that? Like, we're here to talk about the great accomplishment that Ripple is accomplishing, sealing the deal, basically buying a percentage of MoneyGram. And if you watch this interview right here, she says that MoneyGram owns 5% of the global market. So that's why I said, you guys remember what Sue from Esoteric Trading Solutions says, what, if we just get 2% of SWIFT's market share of the global market, 334? So now that we got 5% of the global, re guys, listen, and this is why I pulled up the bearable guy right here, moon date thing, plus the new picture of bearable guy dropped on us. Check this out right here, guys. Moon dates june 17th today is june 17th no i didn't really take this serious sometimes i don't take stuff serious until like afterwards but i don't know how the hell they call june 17th for something being significant to happen and then it happened like no way what's going on here 
Who me? What up, who me? Oh, Cam's here. Cam USA. What up, Cam? Sam. What up, Sam? Keela. Sam is in the house. What up, Bubba? What up, Sam? Good to see you, my brother. Guys, I'm not going to wait no longer. Here is the new picture that bearable guy dropped on me before the stream. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's so wild out there. It's so wild out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sue did trash talk Iota, Andy. You got that one right. I was, like, loving Iota up to that day. As soon as Sue talked bad about Iota, I was like, huh? Let me take, let me take another look at Iota. Actually, I don't think I ever looked back after that. I uh, pretty much went full-time XRP, baby. Holy moly's here. Crypto Insomniac. So this is what I'm saying, guys. Bearable Guy dropped. Now, for people that's new out there that just tuned in for the first time, we're filling up. We're filling up. There's multiple people streaming right now at the same time, but it's no big deal. This is what we do. We got to keep pushing, bro. We got to keep pushing, babe. Bradley Abel's here. Chuck Reels here. That's all that matters. Huh? Crypto Insomniac. Matter of fact, there was a saying that I heard in the song yesterday. It makes me think about what's going on. It says, uh, it says, my smaller got, my circle got smaller, but these are people I can trust or something like that. Yeah. The one guy said, my circle got smaller, but these are people I can trust. We had to get rid of all, <laughs> something like that. But anyway, guys, it doesn't take much. That's for sure. Peru's here. Pinellas. Pest Rat Tips is also here. Oh, man. You guys are wild. So, hello. There's a giant red arrow pointing at Walmart. Guys, when I begin to say that this Walmart relationship is massive, it's a massive deal for Ripple. It's a massive deal for X-Rapid. If you guys aren't familiar with MoneyGram, MoneyGram has 347,000 offices. 347,000 offices. You heard the interview right here with Brad Garlinghouse on Bloomberg. They own 5% of the global remittance market. I would think more than that, but that's what they said. 5%, 5%. The company operates in more than 200 countries with a global network, global. <laughs> what up, Sam? Oh, what's up, Perm? I see you, I see you, Perm. What up, Brad Abel? But here's what I'm here to tell you guys. Not only did Bearable Guy drop a new picture on me right before the stream, right here. Hello, there's a giant red arrow pointing at Walmart. Walmart, right there. Walmart, moon date. I added the moon date part. This is the picture that he sent right here. This is Bearable Guy style right there. Yeah. Yeah. So... MoneyGram is the second largest provider of money transfers in the world. The company operates in more than 200 countries with a global network of 347,000 offices. Now listen, if anybody's out there watching me from across the water and you've never heard of Walmart, I'm telling you, Walmart is a massive, massive store. Massive store. Dwight Howard, you must be new to crypto, bro. Welcome to crypto. Welcome to crypto. Anybody says something like that, you got to be new. You got to be new to crypto or new to my channel, one or the other. And you know I called that right on the money. Come on now. Yeah, guess what? <laughs> uh oh they don't like that. They don't like that. Here's the old picture. About a year ago. This is the original picture right here. This is the new picture right here. Just came right here. Oh, shit. I don't know why it says that right there. But this is the picture right here I just got. I know that. There's a giant red arrow pointing at Walmart. Highlighting that deal. That's for sure. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So let me tell you guys something. There it is right there. Bearable Guy pointed that out so long ago. Now here's the thing, guys. And this is why I love Bearable Guy's work. Because some of the things he points out. Oh, okay, guys. I was about to tell you about Walmart real quick. Walmart. Guys, Walmart is a massive, massive store. The family that owns Walmart is like 10 kids. Go to the search the richest families in the world. Walmart is one of them families. They actually hold the top. Out of the 1 through 10, they hold like 6 spots of the biggest fan, like, you know, the richest family. Uh, look how far they came, too, guys. This is the original Walmart right here. 
This makes me think of us being crypto pioneers in this digital currency movement. And uh, oh, and pickle we trust. <laughs> Walton's guys, look how small they once was. But check this out. In 2005, Walmart reported uh, 312 billion in sales, more than 6,200 facilities around the world, including 380, 3,800 stores in the United States. Guys, Walmart's a big deal. MoneyGram, very big deal. Ripple takes 50 million stake in MoneyGram. Push to deploy XRP, very big deal. Cryptocurrency company on Monday announced a major partnership with MoneyGram today, which will see the money transfer service use the digital currency XRP. Woo! Let that let that marinate for one second. Tell them, Mark. Huh? Let's go back to what Jack the Rippler says. Don't listen to the naysayers. They said no one would use XRP. No one would use this digital currency. Nobody needed a currency that fast. Rule number one, don't forget, don't listen to naysayers. And I'm telling you guys, listen, if we listen to naysayers, we wouldn't get nowhere. We wouldn't get nowhere in life. If I listened to naysayers, I wouldn't have got in shape when I was 300 pounds. If I listened to naysayers, we wouldn't be here. Cryptocurrency is the biggest opportunity of our lifetime. You try to tell your coworkers, you try to tell your family, you try to tell your cousins, your neighbors, they're not listening. Guess what? Look what I wonder if they're going to listen now. Now that MoneyGram will use X Rapid. Woo! I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Camo ammo right on the money. Ripple is miles ahead of everyone. It's on now. Damn right, guys. It's on now. The rest of the world is going to FOMO in. And guess what? Hi, guys. Welcome to the party. Yeah. Oh, uh, Walmart got... Listen, you can, you can go to Netflix and watch a thing on Walmart called Walmart World or something like that. Like, guys, when they buy... Walmart is massive. It could take you, like, a while just to walk through there. It's like, for people that don't know across the water, it's a one-stop shop. You can get your oil changed, you can get new tires, you can get milk, cereal, clothes, uh, they got a McDonald's in there, they got a pretzel place, you can get your hair done, your nails did, uh, <laughs> they got everything, oh, they got MoneyGram, they got a check cashing center, they got a bank, I'm telling you guys, Walmart is where it's at, ask Kevin Reed, he's in Walmart at least twice a week, now I'm just messing with you Kev, what up Kev, good to see you bro. Empire Money Inc., my brother, from another mother. Whew, you're the man, Empire. Getting my custom-made 18-karat gold, all-black diamonds, XRP dog tag, made as we speak, ready in two weeks. Can't wait. Woo! Tell him, Empire. Empire, thank you so much, my brother. I really appreciate that. You are the man, Empire, big time, bro, big time. I can't thank you enough. CKJ's hat, set aside some for some loved ones. The revolution will be televised. You got that right. If you guys just shot, popped in, BG just shot this to me. Hello, there's a giant red arrow pointing at Walmart. Yeah, and then Jack the Rippler, I ran across this. Now tell me again the XRP is not a security. Rule number one, don't listen to the naysayers. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Push it to the limit. Oh my God. I wish I could play this song right now, guys. This song gets you so hyped. At the moment right now, when Ripple has sealed a deal with MoneyGram. That's massive. Huh? What? You know how the rest of the world is going to FOMO in? Guys, do you know how big it is that MoneyGram is going to use XRP? I'm going to get to the article right now. But listen to a couple lyrics. Push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge. But don't look down. Just keep your head or you'll be finished. Huh? Past the point of no return. You've reached to the top. You still got to learn how to keep it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe I'll. Oh, man. I'm trying to tell you. Hit the wheel and double the stakes. Throttle wide open like a bat out of hell. You crash the gates. Crash the gates. Going to the point of no beyond. Oh, man. I'm trying to tell you guys. I'd like to welcome everybody to CKJ Crypto News. If you guys can smash some thumbs up, hit that subscribe. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just documenting my journey on cryptocurrencies. And I'm trying to tell you, 
opportunities are knocking. That's for sure. Ask Patel. He'll tell you. An industry-defining milestone. Together, MoneyGram and Ripple are solving challenges with cross-border payments using the speed and efficiency of XRP. You never thought you would see that, did you guys? Huh? Has anybody out there? Woo! We got over 200 people here. Come on now. I'd like to welcome everybody to CKJ Crypto News. Bearable Guy is back. Or did he ever leave? That is the question. That is the question. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight too, guys. I got Bearable Guy's page open. I got Bearable Guy's page open. Well, the real Bearable Guy, please stand up. <laughs> Oh man, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Yup, MBG dropped a new pick on me right before the stream. Huh? I don't know if this picture was in his Reddit or not, or whatever it is, but that's what I know. That's what I'm telling you. And that's what I know. Huh? That's what I know. What do you guys know? Is this bearable guy or not? <laughs> oh man, we having too much fun. XRP is a limitless opportunity. Mars is the limit. Damn right. Tell him, Patel. What up, Call the Case? All uh, right, let's go through some of these articles, guys. I know a lot of people right here are familiar with this song. I was going to play the Push It to the Limit uh, little thing right there. But I decided not to. Oh, come on, guys. Look at this right here. Here's another one I ran across. Hold up. Where is it at? Where is it at? Moon Dates. June 17th is highlighted on here. I'm not sure why, you know, whatever. But today's the 17th. And the money grant deal was sealed today. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dreaming a little too big. Oh, uh, you know it. You know it, Keela. Shout out to Big BG. The legend. The bear. The myth. The legend. Whose work has stood the test of times. Huh? A lot of, a lot of uh, imitators have come and gone. But nobody's work stands the test of time. Ask C. Honcho. He'll tell you. <laughs> oh. oh, lordy. Oh, there's a full moon on the seventh. It, it looked like it was a full moon last night. That's one thing I can't understand. If somebody hates somebody so much, why do you still show up like three months later? Like, oh, up, oh I hate CKJ, but he comes on in like an hour. Let me tune in. <laughs> Oh, uh, come on, bro. I'm trying to tell you guys, crypto is so exciting. In a strategic partnership, Ripple will become MoneyGram's global partner for cross-border payment and foreign exchange. Damn! Okay, here's the scenario, guys. Cryptocurrency company uh, Ripple on Monday announced a major partnership, major partnership, which will see money transfer service use the digital currency XRP. Guys, the rest of the world is going to FOMO in. I'm trying to tell you, opportunities are knocking. Robert Holiday's here. Yeah, tell him, Aussie, Aussie. Guys, listen, and I'm don't get me wrong. I'm extremely excited about XRP, and I know we I know we got opportunities coming down the pipe, guys. But guess what? This is digital currency. This is the birth of a new asset class. I'm trying to tell you, XRP. BTR might do something big. VET might do something big. Coinbase is going to do something big. There's going to be companies that come along and utilize Ripple technology that's going to save us even more fees. I'm telling you guys, there's this next couple of years is going to be so interesting. Yeah. Under the terms of the deal, Ripple will pay $4.10 a share to acquire 8 to 10% in MoneyGram. Guys, once the rest of the world sees them do what they're about to do, everybody's going to want a piece of this action. I'm telling you, how's, ask yourself this, guys. How's it feel to be a pioneer? How's it feel to be here at the birth of a new asset class? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Danny Loft can. <laughs> Danny Loft, my brother. If they don't know, they should know that. Bear knows it all. I tried to tell them, Danny. They didn't want to listen. You should, you should say, oh, Lordy, I'm going to get to that part. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it, guys. Thank you so much, Danny, for supporting the stream. My brother, I'm honored. Thank you for the support, Danny, big time. Yeah, the XRP. Like, 
Like Spanish Fly just said, the XRP FOMO is going to be way bigger than the BTC FOMO. Like, listen, I own BTC, but when it comes to partnerships and real utility and what's XRP doing, nobody comes even close. And even Brad Garlinghouse says it in this interview, guys. You guys got to check out this interview right here. Brad, Brad Garlinghouse MoneyGram. And I actually took a couple notes. As soon as the interview started, the lady started hating right away. She started trying to talk about Western Union. Listen, we're not here to talk Western Union. We're here to talk about the great accomplishments that we just accomplished with MoneyGram. First thing she says is, oh, Western Union, you, they said they didn't save money. What? Like, we're about to go live with X Rapid with MoneyGram, and this is what we should be talking about. She was hating. She, guys, you got to be careful for the haters. Just like, uh, just like uh, uh, Jack the Rippler says, Rule number one, don't listen to the naysayers. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Damn right. Yeah. Big G drop in on us. Y'all, you know he's watching. Come on now. You know Big BG's here. Which one's here? Which one? We'll get to that in one second. Oh, what about the guy from earlier? Talked about early retirement and crypto. That was huge. Uh, MoneyGram, 5% of global... Uh, MoneyGram has 5% of the global mar uh, remittance market. She asked Brad Garlinghouse, what's the plans for the future? He says, build out and expand. Guys, we're just getting started. Ask BG, he'll tell you. Exactly. It, Rainer, Rena Rodriguez hit it right on the money, guys. And this is what the problem is, and this is why they fought against blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. Reason number one is the birth of the blockchain is the beginning of recorded history. Reason number two is because they've been ripping us off with high fees for forever. Now the fees are going to start dropping drastically. And guys, anybody that's watching my channel for a long time, they knew I dropped the Walmart to World video a long time ago. Because I've been following Bearable Guy close for a while now. And when Walmart to World dropped their fees to like 14 bucks to send a thousand dollars it used to be a hundred bucks. I was like, nah, something's not right here. Not only is MoneyGram using... Uh, signed a deal with X Rapid. They've been using XRP for a long time. They don't just go live. Something has to happen. Damn, dude. You even start like multiple accounts to talk in here? Oh my God, bro. I really thought like once you walked, why do people walk away from the channel like three months ago, six months ago, but like they're still back? It's like weird. I would like go on my own path. <laughs> That's weird, bro. That's really weird. That's kind of spooky. Kind of like weird. It's a lot of like, different personalities on the internet. Uh, under the terms of the deal, Ripple will pay $4 a share to acquire 8 to 10% stake in uh, MoneyGram. This translates into $30 million. It also gives MoneyGram the option for another $20 million cash infusion. Damn right. XRP was pumping, guys. Oh, Deron Beast, thank you for that, my brother. I appreciate that, big time. What up, Mo Muddy? Mo Muddy? <laughs> Bearable guy dropped this on me right before the stream, guys. Hello? There's a giant red arrow pointing at Walmart. How many times did Bearable guy drop a picture on us that... Like, guys, remember... Uh, legendary. <laughs> oh, legendary, you're wild, bro. Uh, guys, remember in 5819... 5819, Bearable Guy uh, tweeted, very interesting situation abound, Visa, almost two years ago. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? What you talking about? And the next thing you know, in the month of May, where Bearable Guy dropped a calendar on us, where Bearable Guy dropped a calendar on us, uh, in December, the Earthport deal finalized in May. I, I'm telling you guys, there's some weird stuff going on with, uh, what up, Mo Muddy? <laughs> I like that name. Mo Muddy. Uh, guys, I'm telling you guys, I don't know where Bearable Guy works at or what's he up to, but he's something's, something's, something's going on here. Something's going on here. Let's move down the line. I can't thank you guys enough for tuning in, guys. We've been doing this show for over a year and a half. Over a year and a half. Shout out to everybody that's been following me for a long time, and shout out to all my new followers. I really appreciate it. You guys... Like, I love you guys. Thank you. Smash them likes for the bear. Subscribe. Hit that bell. Don't miss out when the bear says something. Yeah, you're right on that, guys. 
CKJ's hat. Oh, you guys are amazing. Oh, Brad, that's what I started doing too, actually. I started going down the rabbit hole. I want to go down this a little bit farther because I think that there's going to be a tie-in with actual Walmart. Now, MoneyGram is massive because there has to be some kind of deal. And if you go to right here to, uh, I was reading the wiki page. Trust me, I tried to go so much deeper on this. If you go to, this is Walmart's wiki right here, and it goes into the deal, how they uh, something came in between the deal in like 2015. Where is it at? Damn, see, Walmart got a lot of stuff going on. Like, this company's massive. Where is it at? See, there's something in here about how MoneyGram, or, yeah, MoneyGram and Walmart got into it in like 2015, and then they picked the relationship back up. But I tried to find all the investors in Walmart, who's the investors in MoneyGram. Trust me, I'm, Brad, I'm working on it, bro. I'm working on it, that's for sure. But if everybody that's just tuning in, MoneyGram has 347,000 locations. Walmart is where the MoneyGrams I know are at. That's where all the MoneyGrams I've seen are all in Walmart. Uh, and their check cashing service in Walmart. You can cash your check in Walmart. They'll cash any check for like three bucks. You don't got to have a bank account. They'll cash your tax return. They'll, they do all kinds of stuff. All right, guys. Here, here's what everybody's been waiting for. This is what Twitter's been a buzz about right here. This is what Twitter has been a buzz about. Before we talk down this rabbit hole right here, guys, i like to welcome everybody to CKJ Crypto News, XRP After Dark. You never know who's going to show. We know Big BG's here. Huh? Bearable Guy's a CKJ fan. I'm a Bearable Guy fan. This is Bearable Guy country. <laughs> yeah, this is BG country. Ask Cat Loves Dogs. She'll tell you. <laughs> All right, guys. So anyway... Last night, I'm, you know, I'm just looking around on Twitter a little bit. Twitter's starting to get crazy. Anyway, I'm looking around on Twitter a little bit, and what do I see? Bearable Guy's original Twitter page opened up. Bearable Guy's original Twitter page opened up. Oh, Cat Loves Dog says, what up, BJ? Yeah. Uh, Bearable Guy's original Twitter page opened up last night. So... Then next thing you know, Bearable Guy's Twitter page right here is already open. <laughs> oh man, this is so crazy, guys. What's crazy though is once this page opened up on Twitter, right? Everybody was like, see, I told you, CKJ, he was never talking to Bearable Guy. He was doing this and doing that. And he was, I was like, whoa. I was like, hold up. I didn't even like respond to none of it. it. I was like just sitting back laughing. I never laughed so hard in my life. I'm not even going to lie, guys. I never laughed so hard in my life last night. They were like, <laughs> I'm not even going to repeat some of the stuff they said. It was funny, though. But then, out of all the way down at the bottom of the comment, bashing me, bashing me, bashing me. I told you it was fake. I told you this. I told you that. And then at the bottom, one guy finally made sense on the whole post. One guy finally made sense. And he said, bro, both of these are both connecting to the same R rippled Reddit. If you click this right here, which you know, I had to verify it myself, bam, click that right there. What's it going to take you to? It's going to take you to the Reddit. Go to this page right here. Well, you know, I, never, I didn't even actually do this myself to see, but still, I already know what time it is. Okay, so anyway, the way they did it, though, to figure it out is... Uh, actually, Bank XRP tweeted on there too. Hey, bro, it's the same one. <laughs> and then what was crazy is it's like you would see a hundred comments of pure hate, pure hate, hundred comments, right? And then when Bank comes on there, hey, bro, this is the same bearable guy, like one heart, like every the whole the whole feed stopped, and uh, the whole feed stopped, and just one heart, and it shut the whole feed down. I was like, oh lordy, what's going on here? What up, Caden's dad? What up, Caden's dad? Good to see you. So this is my thing is, uh, <laughs> there was something that was a tweet, though. It was a tweet. I mean, I'm not here to, like, prove prove nothing or whatever. I already know what time it is, me personally. Everybody watches my show knows. This right here, guys, we already know that basically make a long story short. I guess I'll prove it. Uh, to make a long story short, 
we know that this page right here has led back to the same r rippled reddit that bearable guys opened up on the show bearable guys original twitter opened up right here and guess what it goes back to the same original r ripple reddit does anybody dispute that out there please stand up let me know right now where's my disputers at speak now and forever hold your peace this is your opportunity <laughs> Oh, everybody. Oh, Cam, tell him, Cam. CKJ had a lot of people supporting his friendship with Bearable Guy on Reddit as well. Redditors agree that the account is valid. Oh, everybody knows it's a valid. Huh? Oh, Peru, thank you so much, bro. Yeah, everybody knows it's a valid account. It's still the same. But for one second, they was ready to get out the pitchforks. We're going to get CKJ. We're going to get him. <laughs> I'm like, damn, some people taking social media a little too far. Yeah, you got that right, bro. You got that right. So anyway... Make a long story short, the old Reddit's open. But the thing I do want to highlight on the show, guys, is this is why I love Bearable Guy at the end of the day. He pointed this MoneyGram relationship out like almost over a year ago. So that behind that right there, guys, I put a lot of work into videos behind that. A lot of work into videos behind that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bearable Guy is wild. But if I scroll through here, guys, I've been actually going through his little, uh, I've been going through this R Reddit, Reddit today. If you actually go through here, there's like a lot of good stuff in here. For anybody that wants to check it out, the history of Bearable Guy, feel free to go in here. You can check it out. Uh, In-depth look at the R Rippled Reddit. Uh, looks like there's a post in here from Sue talking about XRP. What else we got in here? Looks like we got the Snoop Dogg at Consensus on here. Uh, oh, looks like we got a Jungle video in here. Shout out to Jungle. Looks like he talked about Coinbase custody. <laughs> and uh, let me see what else we got going on. Oh, yeah, check this one out. This is funny. By circulating supply, why the circulating supply is so much and the price can never go high there, upper than $5. But my question is, how is your life in general? Oh, it's fantastic. It's great to be in New York. And you are Scorpio, right? Yes, I am. So my point is, what is love for you? Like, what is... He asked David Schwartz if he's a Scorpio. Love for a cryptocurrency guy. Are you... Dave Schwartz said, yeah. Are you a lovable person or you are, like, very rude? No, I think I'm a lovable person. I think I just have to be rude, you know, because that's what the world demands. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the world demands to be rude? Sometimes it feels that way. Amazing, you know, amazing. The community just it being what it is. So but what? on the inside, I'm a really lovable guy. So are you a party lover? Absolutely. Absolutely. So are we partying tonight? Sure. Give me a huggy! <laughs> we are partying tonight with the Ripple guy! By circulating supply. Did y'all see the excitement with that guy right there? Said, give me a hug. That's the kind of guy. That's that's my kind of people right there. Excited, loving life. You know, overexcited. Like, honored to meet Joe Katz. Like, whoa. That guy was happy. Oh, you're a Scorpio too, Peru? Shout out to all the Scorpios out there. My mom was a Scorpio. That made me think of that right there. Uh, what else we got going on in here? Oh, yeah, guys. I did find this one. This was kind of interesting right here. Blockchain is driving the fourth industrial revolution. Now... If you go to, oh, and I found a Sticky Bear video, too. This one was funny. We'll talk about that in one second. Guys, here's the article I pulled out of here really, really quick. Uh, no, guys, Joe Katz is amazing. Uh, I can't wait to get him on the show. Yeah. Big banks are investing heavily in blockchain and crypto. $364 billion investment firm. Now, I pulled this out of Bearable Guys. Uh, R rippled Reddit from over a year ago, but just check it out the beginning real quick. And it actually led me to a hidden gem for tomorrow's show, but I'll tell you guys tonight. Uh, right here. Big banks are in crypto. Major banks such as JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, uh, incorporate with large scale conglomerates and enterprise to provide banking services. Uh, so basically we got Bank of America, JP Morgan, but a name jumped out at me here, guys, and I'm going to take a serious look at this crypto. Check this out. A lot of in, a lot of investors went into Bitcoin first because it was the first way to access blockchain and big banks are investing in heavily. Bank of America boasted at Davos that they're investing the most. Check this out. Blockchain startup like Bluezeal, Bluezeal have already built trusted blockchain networks for large scale conglomerates such as HSBC microsoft and mufg so hold on guys if you go back to bearable guys original page 
What do we got? We got Blue Zeal on here. Remember the Blue Zeal thing was announced in May? And this article's from over a year ago. So anyway, make a long story short, I did do some research on Blue Zeal. Guys, Blue Zeal right now is like six cents. Very low supply. Let me see if I can just pull it up real quick. Yeah, rabbit hole. Blue Zeal. Here's Blue Zeal right here. Guys, right now, Blue Zeal's only six cent. It has a supply, uh, what, circulating supply of what, uh, 207 million that's it F uh, total supply 500 million so that's a very very low supply and then as i look over here at the historical data another thing that caught me off guard is guys if you look at the historical data right here right i'm telling you if anybody out there is new to crypto you could not have come in crypto in a better time. Like January 2019 is basically, guys, when the when the market changed. When the market changed, it started having a little bit of gains in January, February. February was the best time to buy. February was the best time to get all in. Bitcoin was three thousand. XRP was four for a dollar. Blue Zill was even down to three cent. But Blue Zill peaked before at seventy cents. Here's seventy one cents. So, I don't know what's going on with Blue Zeal, but for them being caught out in this old article, Bearable Guy highlighted on his page, I'm taking a serious look at Blue Zeal, guys. That's all I know about that. Blue Zeal technology used by Ripple. Yeah, anybody out there got any Blue Zeal? Oh, but the only problem is Blue Zeal's not offered on a lot of different exchanges. If you go to markets, it's on Binance. That's it. I was hoping it was on Bitro. But Binance, we're getting all our tokens off of Binance. Yeah, 68 cent Patel. I'm trying to tell you guys, I would take a serious look at Blue Zill. Uh, what, Blue Zill? I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm getting me some Blue Zill. <laughs> Especially being caught out in this old article over a year old. But the thing is, I was like, damn, did we miss the party? But we didn't miss the party because uh, the whole market sucked. It sucked all the, all the way up until recently. Like right now, guys, this is the buyer's market big time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. I really thought the market was going to push way harder than it's pushing right now. I thought it was going to push way harder. I thought it was. Me personally. So check this out. Dow Jones futures stock market rallies. So basically, Dow Jones futures edged higher Monday... Uh, it's talking about Facebook and Netflix. Hold on. On Tuesday, Facebook, it says something about uh, how the market rise. Hold on. There was an article that I wanted to share this for some reason. It was saying how MoneyGram and Facebook stock is rising right now. Facebook stocks extended strong uh, regular session gain ahead of Tuesday cryptocurrency announcement. Meanwhile, MoneyGram skyrocketed hours after hours on a strategic alliance with Ripple XRP. So what they're talking about right now is a uh, stock market for Facebook is going up and MoneyGram is going up. On Tuesday, Facebook will release a white paper. And if you notice, everybody's saying bearable guy is Twitter is white up here. They're thinking it has something to do with the white paper that bearable guy is supposed to, or Facebook's supposed to release. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Bearable guy is always up to something. It's hard to really call it. Yeah, it's hard to really call it. So, where's the article at I was just reading? Oh, yeah, check out what this guy said real quick, guys. <laughs> check out this real quick. And you guys might have heard of Crypto BitLord, right? You will make Danny Loft. Thank you so much, Danny. If XRP or Ripple is listed in the Facebook's white paper tomorrow... Bearable Bull will pop a vein. Stop playing. Is that what Bearable Bull said? I was watching a little bit of Bearable Bull's video. Shout out to Bearable Bull. He's killing it. He's killing it. That's what it's all about, guys. Having passion. Passion is going to... You got to keep pushing no matter what. People are always going to talk noise. People are always going to try to bring you down. And guess what? Now tell me again that XRP is not a security, but rule number one. Don't listen to naysayers no matter what they say. CKJ this, bearable guy that, community this, XRP that, 
Guys, listen, we ain't got no time for none of that drama. Don't listen to no naysayers. Don't forget rule number one. We are not stopping. Did they say that, though? If XRP is listed on Facebook, white paper, bearable bulb, will pop a vein. May also need a diaper. <laughs> uh, what happened? What happened? I missed something. Did I miss something? What? Let me see. Hold on. I want to thank CKJ and J Currency for the keychain. Mr. Great, you get your keychain? Oh, uh, Robert Holiday says he got some more. Oh, Patel says XRP 68 cent tomorrow. Nah, I mean, I don't know, guys. I think Binance is under a lot of pressure right now. What I think everybody's doing is I think everybody's converting whatever coins they got on Binance into XRP and are sending them to Coinbase. That's what I think. Okay, hold on. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. Oh, come on, man. Don't be saying that kind of stuff in here, bro. Don't don't say that kind of stuff. Be nice, bro. Be nice. I even got to time that out because I don't want to try to... I don't even know how to time. Can y'all put that, erase that comment or whatever? Uh, I can't support that, bro. <laughs> uh, you will make more money than you can possibly imagine simply by doing this. Alt season, not financial advice. Now, this takes me to what BitLord said right here. I'll take you to it. Check out what BitLord says. Guys, I'm just reading the news. I'm reading what I ran across. Make Bearable Guy great again. That's what we're doing. Bearable Guy's been great, and they know it. They know it. They all... They, anyway, <laughs> Crypto BitLord, you will make more money than you can possibly imagine simply by doing nothing this alt season. I like the way this guy talks. Quit your job. Sell your house. And go all in on crypto. Matter of fact, I think he got that line from the guy from MSNBC. Remember that one guy said that from MSNBC about Litecoin? Uh, he was like, sell your car, sell your kids, get Litecoin. Remember that guy? I think he got that from him. But this ain't financial advice, guys. I'm just reading it. Uh, Robert Holiday, don't sell it. Don't sell it everything. Uh, spread it out nicely into solid alts. BTC, ETH, and XRP. Any of these three, I don't think you can lose. Go live in the third world. Go live in the third world country, chilling by the beach for two years. Retire. That sounds beautiful. What up, Sandra? Patel. I'd like to welcome everybody to XRP After Dark. If you guys can smash some thumbs up, it means the world to me. Big, big time. Who the hell is that? Where'd that come from? CKJ Sat. Check this out, guys. I'm, what, I'm glad I pulled this up. This is Jeremy Allure right here, right? Crypto market rallying again ahead of Libra launch. Massive influxion points of global adoption, cryptocurrency, BTC. Now, check this out. Jeremy Allure says that Bitcoin is going to be 10K by March 21st. Oh, guys, you already told you crypto is my retirement plan. I got plan A. We, guys, crypto is our retirement plan. We got plan A and plan B. Plan A is buy everything on Coinbase. You can't go wrong. Plan B is high risk, high reward. Let's get some of them uh, high risk, high reward ones. VChain, BTR. Uh, uh, help me out, guys. What else are your high risk, high reward ones? <laughs> what up, Eric Mills? Uh oh, he said I saw. Guys, I wonder how many, I wonder how many people out there. As soon as this MoneyGram news broke, y'all dumped a bunch of other stuff and moved into XRP. Is anybody out there guilty of that? I I'll be the first one to say yes, huh? I'll be the first one to say I FOMO'd, huh? I'm the king of FOMO, huh? I make mistakes so everybody else doesn't have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you guys, I, I I had to move some stuff around. Yeah, tell them, Simi Doc, get a bit true account. Hot ADA, damn right, plan B. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I did. I'm trying to tell you guys, we keep it real here on this show. Like, listen, as soon as I seen that MoneyGram news, I said, hold up. This got to be it. This got to be it. I said, XRP's got to go to at least 50 cent, maybe even a dollar. How about $4? We've seen XRP shoot up from 40 cent to $4 before. Like, maybe it can do that. 
That's what I was thinking. And then I started watching a little bit of Bearable Bulls video, and he had me hype thinking XRP's great. I'm like, I'm going to retire tomorrow. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Real talk. I was looking uh, at St. Uh, the index funds that all gained like 2% this year. Laugh my butt off. People uh, buy that garbage, hold depreciating cash, just like uh, interest rates from banks. Tell them, Sam. Yeah, man, low risk, high reward. 50 bucks in some of these low risk coins will get you 100K or more. Damn, tell them. That's worth the roll of the dice. And what I mean is like high risk, high reward is basically we know that like uh, it's not even, to me, it's not even really high risk, to be honest. I'm not a financial advisor, but I've been doing a lot of research on uh, VET lately, and like I'm excited about VET. And then I've been doing a lot of research on uh, Bit Bitru, and I think Bitru also has huge potential. That's for sure. So we're going to keep a close eye on those. Here's Louis V. Plan B is B and B. Oh yeah, guys, let me see where B and B's at real quick. I don't know if we should dump B and B right now or not. Let me see. Let me see if we're going to dump BNB or not. You guys, you guys think we should dump BNB or what? BNB. Damn, BNB still doing good though. It's kind of strange. Uh, I don't know. Me personally, I'm looking for BNB to start dumping almost any day. As of right now, it's still riding. You guys know I'm a big BNB fan. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes right now. Plan B is B and B A D A L B A. I like that. Vet, I'm with you. TNT, BTR. Damn, bro, you got them all. I'm with you. Let's do it. And the list goes on. Tell guys, listen. When I say crypto is my retirement, when I say XRP, BTC, ETH, LTC, B and B A D A L B A V E T T N T B T R P R O. Hot. What? Guys, I'm telling you. I think I, I would bet a lot more of those moon than a lot more of those don't. I'll tell you that. When all said and done, when the smoke clears, I'm trying to tell you. Ask Brad Abel. He'll tell you. When will they fully implement, X, implement X-Rap? Guys, X-Rap is going to take over the globe. X-Rap is going to take over the globe, no doubt about it. Well, yeah, B&B is going to be used. Yeah, matter of fact, yeah, call the case you're right. How can we use B&B? If we're banned from using it, uh, we're banned from Binance. We're banned from using it. And I'm not sure. Yeah, Danny, get BNB going. I mean, I guess in the meantime, guys, I probably would. I'm not a financial advisor. It's up to you guys. Uh oh, we got. See, now we got contradicting, uh, conflicting, uh, you know, statements here. We got uh, one, two, three says only a fool would dump BNB. Uh, we got ball so hard it says BNB is going to be just fine. Okay, so we got some BNB still. CKJ uh, Vet is doing. What's it say? Did I miss that comment? Oh, CKJ Vet is doing logistics for Silk for the Silk Road. Silk Road, get out of here for real. Iota will be a monster. I'm trying to tell you. Switch BNB for Bitcoin says Cam. So we got some one people that want to dump it, and we got some people that still loving it. Thoughts on XLM? I think XLM is going to do okay in the future. I think XRP is crushing it. Uh, you know, I think XLM is like their backup plan. No way. Get out of here. Are you serious? I'm the main topic of that stream every day, bro. I've been the main topic of that stream for like six months straight. They love to talk about me every day. And this is before the bearable guy stuff. This is before I, 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 cracked, the, I, I cracked the bearable guy puzzles. Huh? When they was tinkering with them. <laughs> nah, let me stop. That's wrong. BNB is a mirage in the crypto desert. I bought BTC at 5000 traded. I bought a BTC. Yeah, guys, believe it or not, when Bitcoin's around 3000 to 5000 remember I was like, guys, right now is the time. Get a Bitcoin. And uh, and now it's, what, 9 and grade B10? Oh, that reminds me. I bought a BTC at 5000 traded for XRP at 9000 Damn. I, XRP crypto, I know exactly what you did, bro. Right on the money, cause Bitcoin was around five thousand, it shot up to nine thousand, and then damn, you probably picked up about three or four more thousand worth of XRP, and you still might be able to do the same thing. Listening to uh, Jeremy Allure right here. <laughs> Yeah, they talk about me every day. I kind of like it, me personally. I like it. It's like, cause they're like, who's CKJ? Oh, yeah, CKJ. They, they talk about me every day. It's weird. 
It's like a crypto market rallying again ahead of Libra coin launch. Massive influx point global adoption of cryptocurrency. Jeremy Allure is saying 10K for BTC by June 21st. Now this is the point of the story I want to make here. This guy's a connected man. He's making predictions on the information that he has, right? Now what if Bitcoin is not 10K by June 21st? Should we call him a fraud? Should we ban him? Should we say we're not going to follow Circle no more? He made a bad call. No. Just like Bearable Bull. People are making these uh, predictions off the information that they have. When Bearable Bull called for $5, you best believe when I woke up I was checking my phone. You wasn't? Was there somebody out there that didn't check their phone that day and said, oh, I'm not even going to check the price? Hell no. Everybody was checking. I thought I, sn I snuck up on my phone. <laughs> uh, let me get rid of this one. Ripple 2 invests $50 million in MoneyGram. Ripple agreed to buy $30 million worth of MoneyGram shares. The two companies signed a two-year agreement. Yeah, guys, here it is right here. For everybody that's just tuning in, Ripple takes 50 million stake in MoneyGram and push to deploy XRP. And if you go down here, guys, they're going to utilize XRapid. And you guys got to follow me on Twitter. Check out this interview right here. Brad Groninghouse explains everything. I'm telling you guys, this is massive news. <laughs> Dumb says I check every hour. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, XLM, I don't know what's up with them. They crashed. They went. They went down. It has. It's been at twelve cents. The only thing they got really going. I mean, they got a lot of stuff going for them. I mean, they're on Coinbase. That's huge. Believe it or not, uh, this is the picture. Uh, right before I came into the stream, guys, I noticed that this picture right here was. Uh, this is the new picture. There's a giant red arrow pointing at Walmart. Now, basically, Bearable Guy dropped this picture probably a year ago. I'm not sure if uh, if this came out of the Reddit or it got rehashed or what's the scenario on that. But this is exactly the topic I was going to talk about regardless. So, me and Bearable Guy must have been on the same brain. We must have been on the same wavelength. Uh, like I said, guys, Bearable Guy pointed out MoneyGram over a year ago. He pointed out the uh, Visa situation. Very interesting situation to bound. Bear Bearable Guy pointed out the Faster Payments Task Force. I mean, he pointed out the, uh, if you follow his page right here, we went down this rabbit hole the other day. If you go to who he's following right here, Fiscal Services, we went down that rabbit hole that sent us to the Department of Treasury. Guys, there's so much happening. It's amazing. Yeah, right now, BTC's at uh, 9,400. Yeah, guys, and that's the, uh, matter of fact, yeah, you guys got to watch the video I did before this one. And this is why I was saying this is huge with Circle. And believe it or not, guys, you know, that's really weird. Like, sometimes the biggest news on Twitter, nobody notices it. Like, for example, this Jeremy Allure thing, guys. I showed you this earlier, right? Let me see. I'll show you. The biggest news is like the smallest news on Twitter. It's weird. Oh, there goes Michael Arrington saying, good interview with Brad Growinghouse. Like, for example, if you go down here, right? Where is it at? Right here. When Circle Play, when Circle Pay acquired Feloniacs in 2018, we inherited 140,000 open tickets. Guys, this is massive news right here. Cause guess what? It's exactly like uh, my brother right here just said, "Yo yo, one two three. I heard that name Yo yo before. Where'd I hear that at? Where'd I hear Yo yo at? <laughs> uh, when Circle Pay acquired Feloniacs in 2018, guys, Goldman Sachs backed circle to buy feloniacs they paid 400 million dollars that goes to show you guys big money is coming into crypto this is a massive opportunity do not miss your opportunity guys it's happening oh oh there's some love from from the iron man iron man and he's calling for a 10k so i hope to see that that's for sure uh-oh, Mr. Gray says it's wise to hold XRP and XLM. I'm just reading the comments. Tony Stark. Hey, pal. Miss Stark watching tonight, so say hi to Donna. Donna, Miss Stark, Miss Iron Man. How you doing tonight? Hey, pal, Miss Stark watching tonight. Say hi to Donna. Fingers crossed with MoneyGram should be huge. 
Guys, I'm not even going to lie. When this article right here came out, I thought XRP, like, I was thinking this is it. Like, it's going to the moon right now. Ripple takes 50 million stake in MoneyGram to push to deploy XRP. What? Guys, you know how big this is? They're saying MoneyGram has 5% of the global remittance market. 5%. And they're going to say they're going to use X Rapid. And Brad Garlinghouse says it right here in this interview, too. He says now their goal is to get them to free up the dormant capital so they can use that money for working capital. And X Rapid will free up dormant capital. And that's amazing to use X. What? You know, once the rest of the world sees the money that uh, Western Union, uh, MoneyGram, what's one? Mo I get them confused. Western Union, MoneyGram. You know, when, Wal when the world sees the money that MoneyGram is saving, using X Rapid, do you know what? We're going to have people beating down the door. Ain't that, who said that? Joe Katz, right? He said when it first starts off, you got banks, like uh, you got to convince them to join. He said after a while, you start reaching the tipping point where they're calling you. Guys, guess what? After today, they're going to be calling Ripple. They're going to be calling 